Hello guys, my name is Shambhu and very welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to have a quick discussion about the ARP or BUM traffic forwarding in this kind of network. This is the uh, BGP eVPN network. The method that we use in order to forward the BUM traffic is called ingress replications. Suppose this CE1 router is sending the traffic to PE1 router. Uh, let's say that it is an ARP traffic. Uh, that traffic would be replicated to all the PEs with which I have the BGP L2 VPN eVPN session established. So here I have two BGP L2 VPN eVPN session. One is with PE 2 XE router and another uh, with PE 3 XE router. Hence in this case PE 1 XE router will create two copies of that ARP request and send one copy to PE 3 XE router, another copy to PE 2 XE router. Now you might have guessed that this ARP request from PE2XE router should not go back to CE1 iOS router because this is a looping situation. In order to avoid this, we have something called split horizon in eVPN. How does it work is when I am sending that ARP request out of PE1XE router towards PE2XE router. In general, I'll have two labels, right? One is to identify that particular bridge domain or that particular service and the second label is to identify the transport so i'll have a transport label uh, just like in case of l2 vpn or l3 vpn we used to have and another would identify the bridge domain or the service and uh, now in this particular situation i'll have the third label also which is called split horizon label so if i have that split horizon label set up here then pe2 xe router would look into that third label and would identify that uh, this traffic should not be forwarded to CE1 iOS router because it has split horizon label set and I am going to drop this per particular packet further. We are going to see this uh, in the packet captures. Let's move to the network diagram now. All right, so this is my network diagram. This is exactly same what we have seen in the picture uh, in my previous screen. Now let's quickly check some outputs on this PE1XE router and then I'm going to start the packet capture on this interface, this interface, uh, this interface and this interface. And then we'll quickly verify all the labels, whatever we have. So first of all, show MPLS forwarding table. Uh, we see that uh, PE2 XE router uh, is 2222 and PE3 XE router is 3333. So in order to reach both of these routers, we have labels set up here. So in order to reach 2222, I need to use transport label as 24001. And in order to reach to 3333, I have the transport label set up as 24. Now next part of this discussion is BUM label or broadcast unknown unicast and multicast kind of label because that is going to be used uh, for all kind of ARP or any other uh, you know multi destination traffic forwarding. In order to check the BUM label that I am advertising to all of my neighbors uh, I need to put the command show L2 uh, VPN eVPN here uh, we can clearly see that for the bridge domain 10 i have the bum label as 17 that means this 17 label i am advertising to everybody in the network and whoever wants to send the bum traffic to me will have to impose this particular label on on top of that particular traffic so far it looks good so we have the transport label in order to reach to 2222. We have the transport label in order to reach to 3333. And I have my BUM label. Let's see what BUM label PE2 router and PE3 router are advertising to me because those are the labels I'm going to use when I'm forwarding BUM traffic to them, right? Get to PE2 router, show L2 VPN, eVPN, EVI and the bum label for the uh, bridge domain 10 on pe2 router is also 17 and what about p3 router let's quickly check that also show uh, l2 vpn evpn evi and here also it is 17 okay so we have solved the two pieces of puzzle one is transport label another is bum label so i know that if pe1xc router is sending the arp request to pe3 or pe2 it will have uh, the transport label which is either 24001 or 24002 
and the bum label would be 17. We are going to verify all these with the packet capture also. But before that, let's solve the other piece of the puzzle, which is called uh, the split horizon label. So in this case, uh, you might have guessed that for P3XC router, I don't need any split horizon label because uh, it is not connected via multi-hop P1XC router. The only router for which I am going to need split horizon label is for P2XC router. So let's check what is the split horizon label on P2XC router. So for that, the command is uh, L2VPN, uh, EVPN, Ethernet segment. And if you put the question mark, you can specify detail here. Here, uh, we are clearly seeing that it says that split horizon label is 16. So now we know that when I am sending the ARP request to P2XC router, I need to specify that this is a bum traffic. So I need to impose the bum label, uh, which P2XC router is sending to me. And also I need to specify the split horizon label because P2XC router needs to drop the packet. It should not forward the packet back to CU1X, uh, CU1 iOS router. So looking at this, I know all the labels which P1XC router should be imposing on our request while replicating it. Now let's quickly go to the packet captures and try to identify if this is happening right or not. Okay, all my packet captures are running. Now I'll go to CE1 iOS router and I'll quickly ping uh, one IP address which is assigned on CE2 iOS routers. On CE1, I have this VLAN IP 2020-21 and other side on CE2 iOS, I have the IP address as 2020-22. Let's ping. 2022. Okay, it looks like ping is working. Now I'm going to stop all the packet captures and move to my Wireshark. First of all, let's check the packet capture on this link and this link. Let's see which particular link the ARP is taking because this is the port channel. So we know that ARP request would be hashed either to this link or to this link. Let's check on which link it is getting forwarded. I'll go to the packet capture. This is the packet capture. And if we see uh, this packet capture, uh, you can check the name here. It says C1 iOS router to PE1 XC router. And this is the second capture which says CE1 iOS router to PE2XC router. So in this one, I have filtered for ARP. I don't see any ARP packet. You can see that there is no ARP packet. There is just ping responses that I see. Uh, let me filter it again. And here uh, we are seeing that the ARP is being sent. If you uh, try to expand the ARP, it says that it is targeting for the IP address 2020-22. Going back to the network diagram, we see that the ARP request is taking this particular interface. Now let's quickly move to uh, this link and this link's capture. Okay, so we have this capture here. Now I'm going to filter ARP in the Wireshark. Okay, so uh, here we see that uh, this particular capture is from P1XC router to PXR router. That means this capture is from this interface P1XC to PXR router. Now going back to the packet capture, it says that looking at the packet capture, I know that there are two uh, ARP requests sent and you can see both of them are ARP requests. It is going for 2020-22. Now let's verify the labels. The first packet is going with the transport label as 24001 and with the show MPLS forwarding table on PE1XC router, we know that this 24001 is assigned to let's say 2222, right? So that means this particular packet is going to 2222 and hence it has two label. One label uh, should be the bum label and another label is the split horizon label. Now let's quickly verify which one is the bum label and which one is the split horizon label. Let's go to PE2XC router. In this command output, we know that 16 is the split horizon label and 17 is the bum label. So, so far so good. 
now let's quickly check the second arp request it has uh, you know transport label as 24002 which is associated with 3333 and 17 is the bum label now let's quickly verify 17 on pe3 xc router if i scroll a little up it says that bum label is 17 so far it looks good we have verified all the labels in this wireshark capture with the command outputs on the uh, router also let's check the arp response as well arp response is taking the label 17 which if you remember is the bum uh, label which i have forwarded now why exactly this is uh, this response is also a bum kind of traffic because p3 still doesn't know about this source mac address and since it doesn't know it is considered as unknown unicast traffic it will know about this mac address uh, the source mac address uh, once the bgp update goes out of pe1xc router to PE3 XC router which goes uh, you know just after this particular packet comes in so if you do this or BGP you will see that okay the ARP request has gone and then ARP request has come up then there are few BGP keep alive and then PE1 XC router what it is doing is it is constructing one BGP update which will have uh, uh you know you'll see here it has reachability information it has the mac address information here uh this mac address it is sending this mac address to uh, the route reflector and the route reflector will, will forward uh this particular update to p3 xc router also and hence the p3 xc router would now know about the source mac address but it happened much later than the arp request come up sorry uh, the arp response come up arp response on pe3 router although it was unicast but it was treated as unknown uh, unicast traffic that is the reason it was sent here with the bum label set this is all i wanted to discuss in this particular video i wanted to keep it very simple and focused on arp so now we know how it basically works i'll make more videos to discuss further concepts on evpn thank you so much for your time please subscribe to the channel and happy learning